generator uh, video for a while, so I thought it um, get you up to date on s some of the stuff I'm doing here. Um, I have a uh, coil here, a new one uh, that I had been working on. Um, this is a Hendershot coil, and I have the uh, capacitor in here on a cylinder that's uh, similar to this. It's a paint can. It's metallic. Here's a magnet sticking to it. In an earlier design he used a coffee can, which probably would have been magnetic unless he found a certain kind of coffee can that wasn't. But um, Anyway, um, I uh, have hooked this up to my pulse generator like this. Um, I have a power transistor with a 15 ohm, uh, just to limit the current a little bit connected to uh, one of the Hendershot coils. This one has um, the higher winding, so it's it's sort of like a transformer across to this one. And uh, this is representing the, the metallic can. And then we have a 7.8 nanofarad capacitor here. So th this tank circuit here will ring when being pulsed. And I'm going to show that. Um, this meter is going to show frequency. I'm going to flip this on. I've got it dialed in to ping the coil with a uh, narrow pulse width every um, 20, 80 hertz or so. And this is what we see on the scope. So the scope is, um, I forgot to show that. The scope is hooked up to this tank circuit so that we can just see the, uh, the ringing that occurs in here. Um, now on I've got this set to 10 volts per division and 0.1 milliseconds per division. Um, so this is uh, being pulsed every 2 kilohertz, and, um, or 2080 actually. And what we see is shortly after the pulse goes away, we have a very nice uh, pickup of... of um, essentially what looks like radio waves from uh, and there's a uh, there's sort of a ringing here um, a ringing frequency that's uh, higher than this 2 kilohertz but then it just kinda blurs to noise until the next pulse arrives oops I moved my cable here Um, so this is a uh, this is encouraging. Um, it's interesting that you can have a pulse like this, and uh, possibly with uh, create a flux that um, makes this tank circuit a little bit better receiver in terms of energy, and then the energy can be pulled in here like an antenna. Um, now, I've, from the rodent coil experience, I've learned a lot about dampened oscillation, and um, uh, I've grounded my uh, ground plane here to earth ground, which is the same ground that the scope would see. Um, the, but the scope is still going to be injecting um, various uh, frequencies into this circuit. Um, so I can put a um, choke on here and we can see what happens. Okay, so now I have this choke hooked up in line with the power supply. Um, we're, we're still running off batteries, but nevertheless, um, the uh, noise can be picked up from the scope, as I was saying. This uh, choke will help reduce that. And this is the waveform we see now, which is cleaned up, but it's still ringing after the pulse, just not as long. And um, the the capacitor that I made, which just uses ho household tin foil, has uh, quite a lot of resistance, and so this dampened oscillation. Uh, probably decays way too fast, and that might have been the reason that Hendershot took great care to wrap a better capacitor 
um, using materials from an actual um, capacitor. Um, so this this might point to me needing a better capacitor, but it nevertheless does ring for a little while. So um, I think it's uh, more interesting without the choke on there. Okay, here we are back again without the choke. Um, so there's no longer filtering. Um, and so um, this circuit is able to pick up noise much better now. And um, if you look at Hendershot's circuit, um, it may be exploiting noise big time to just pull energy from everywhere and uh, be as glitchy as possible. Um, and uh, the thing about coils is uh, they work really well if you are glitching, if you are, if you have a circuit that's very glitchy. Um, so this kind of thing where you're, you're just picking up uh, radio frequencies from all over the place in a very wide bandish sort of way might be a good way to uh, create an energy source. Um, so now I have to do the many hours again of making a second coil. Um, but this is where I am. Bye.